Hey, personal finance. So this is the pick a job project. And there's two parts of this project. The first is a slideshow um, where you are kind of like spelling out all the different things that you're going to be doing when you are 25 to 28 years old. So you finished college or whatever kind of training you get for your job. Um, and you are kind of settled on your own. You don't have a family yet. It's just you. Um, and you're basically like making plans for your life as far as like what house you're living in, what kind of car you drive, um, and how you're budgeting. So this is an extension of the budgeting unit, um, kind of giving you a chance to make it real for yourself. So for the first day on Wednesday, you are going to um, just go through the first five slides. So you need to figure out what your job title is going to be. and you are going to decide and make sure like this is a slideshow so make it pretty make it like nice to look at make it fun for yourself make it something you can share with your grandparents or your parents if you want to or your kids <laughs> at some point no, i'm just kidding no but make it like nice um make it something you're proud of so start with your job title and your name tell me where you want to live um and your salary is going to depend on um like where you live the job that you get and where you live. So pictures and text here, make it pretty. Um, something you should know is that you can actually put a picture in the background of your slide and then put a bunch of stuff on top of it. So to do that, you just click on background, choose image, and you can even do a Google image search right there. So if you want to live in Nashville, Tennessee, you can search Nashville or like a landmark in Nashville or something like that um, and put it right in there. Um, your chosen occupation, this one is about your yearly salary and what you, what you do in that job. So the way to find your yearly salary is you go to this link right here, Salary Research. Um, you are going to enter your job title in there. So say I want to be a teacher, a high school teacher. I will research that. Um, okay, so I have high school teacher. And I'm going to change my city so it's specific to where I want to live. So I don't make this yet. I just started, but I will eventually. <laughs> um, so I'm going to search for Lansing, Michigan, because that's the closest to where I am. Um, and you can see that it's a little bit lower here in the mid-Michigan area than it was wherever the, the general thing was. Um, when you are 25 to 28 years old, you're not going to be making the median of what you could be making quite yet. You're going to be more down uh, in the lower range. So when you figure out what yearly salary you're making, make it more like down in this range and not so much up here quite yet, okay? Um, let's see. Let's come back here. So then, and you want pictures of, you know, the job that you chose. Then what kind of education or training do you need to get there? Is it a four-year degree? Is it an apprenticeship program? There are so many different ways to get where you want to go. I want to know what path you choose. So that's Wednesday. I'm going to keep going right now, but if, it, if you are looking at this on Wednesday morning, then you can stop here and come back to it later. But I'm going to tell you what to do for the rest of the project, too. Um, so then you're going to come. You can use this house that you already used for the Buy a House project. And put that in here with some pictures, why you picked it, um, how much you're paying for it. The numbers are really important here in the slideshow. And let me show you a way you can make things pop out in a fun way. So there's shapes. You can use shapes to put things in there. There's this one that I really like to use for physics especially. That's like this like explosion shape. And you can even put like some cool colors in there. Notice I went to this uh, like the the paint can thing and then I'm going to use like a gradient you can change the border of it I mean I do so many things for physics but you can do make it make it good make it fun and good to look at okay you can have you can use the car that you picked for your used car or your new car include the pictures and you can use the cost and the monthly payment that you found for it um, discuss with me whether you're going to finance, meaning get a loan for your car, or whether you're going to lease it, or whether you're going to buy it with cash. Um, all of those things need to be accounted for. If you're going to buy your car with cash, that's obviously the best thing to do. Let me know um, how you came about your cash. <laughs> like, 
Are you a really good saver? Like what, how'd you do that? That's pretty awesome. Um, your lifestyle. I just want to hear like, what is your life like um, at age 25 to 28? What are your values? Because that's going to affect your budget, right? You spend money based on the things that you care about and the things that you like doing and the things that are important to you. So what are those things for you? What are the things that you've chosen to prioritize in your budget? So this is kind of like general about what your life is like. And then this is like, how does that affect your budget, right? Looking forward, how um, how do you expect your budget and priorities are going to change over time? Do you think that you will spend as much money on entertainment and like going to parties and bars and stuff when you're as when you're like 35 as when you're 25? Who knows, you know? Um, are you going to start saving for retirement or are you saving up for a new house or a new car? Um, add some pictures to give it some life. What things so three things specifically that you're saving for here, because it is really important to pay yourself first and save up for the things that are important to you. So the other part of this project is the spreadsheets, the budget sheets. So what you're going to do here, a lot of this is actually, like I put the formulas in for you because I want your main work to be in figuring out this budget here. So um, you are going to put in, oh, it's not clicking for me very well. It's because it's like near my clock or something. There we go. Okay, so you're going to put in your gross yearly income. Gross means before taxes, before any pay, uh, payroll deductions at all. So say I was working as a high school teacher and uh, say I start off at like, oops, that's really light. Let me make it a different color. There are so many things you can adjust here. Okay, so hope it didn't work. Now, is it going to work? I don't know why that's not working. Okay, so say my gross yearly income is $40,000. Um, so then it auto-populates. This is how much I'm making per month. This is how much I'm making, uh, or this is how much comes out of my paycheck. So you'll notice that there are a lot of payroll deductions, um, like 36% of your paycheck comes out in the form of taxes. Um, so there's a lot of reason, there's a lot of things that that goes to. A bunch of it goes right to the federal government, and I can I showed you here what those go to. So like military, technology, and education, um, pay off interest from the national debt. There's like a, a bazillion things, and there's a link if you're curious specifically about where this money is all going to. You can find out. Um, state income tax is four percent. Social security is what pays for um, when people get um, retirement age. They get a paycheck from the government to help them like pay their mortgage or pay for their medications or like all that good stuff. Um, Medicare is specifically health care for folks that are old or disabled. Um, and then for this one, I added um, contributing 5% of your paycheck to a 401k, which is an investment um, that provides for your retirement. So that's definitely a good thing to do. So. With all of those deductions, your net monthly income, which means what you get after all of that, um, after all of that is taken out, is two thousand one hundred and forty-five dollars. Okay, so that means your net yearly income went from forty thousand to twenty-five thousand, <laughs> which is really not as great anymore. But maybe you'll make more money than me. Okay, so your net monthly income. This is you're going to start here with this amount that you have down here. It's doing the thing again. Let's see if I can get it. There, okay. So I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste this here. Ah, that didn't work. I'll put the number in, just a second. Okay, so monthly pay is 2,145. So then from there, this is where the good stuff happens. This is where you are actually working on budgeting. So um, these are like all of the bills that are come, gonna come out of your paycheck. Um, it's easy to get excited about being a grown-up because you think you're going to have lots of extra money, but there's so many extra bills to pay. So these are things that you have to take care of. And if you don't know how much you would be likely to spend on these things, you can either ask your folks because they, I'm sure, are paying for a lot of these things, or you can go to my budget baseline amounts here, which kind of tells you where you can start with these. I'm not saying that your expenses are going to be just like this, but this is a place to start. Um, 
And for example, if you have a really super cool posh house, your property taxes might be more than this. Um, your garbage recycling, you know, just basic like heat, electricity, if you live in a bigger house, is going to be more expensive. It's just um, this is kind of like based on what we spend on a regular basis just to give you a place to start. But like gas, oil, I didn't even like begin to say there because, you know, are you going to live really close to your job? Are you going to like live more of a commute from your job. So these things that are highlighted in yellow are the ones that um, you're going to have to do some math about. So for example, most of these are by the month. So like you're paying $50 on heat per month, $50 on electricity, a hundred um, for water bills in Williamson, uh, things like that. But these things that are highlighted in yellow, like this is every six months. So you're going to need to do like 2,000 divided by six to find that number there. You're going to need to do 60 divided by three to find that number. Um, and then the repairs and maintenance is going to depend on if you got a used car or a new car because new cars are going to be more expensive at the outset, but they'll have less repairs to make. Um, and something that's cool here that I did for you is that when you start putting numbers in here, so like, um, so say like property taxes are $500 and heat is $50 per month. So it adds it all up right here. So these totals pop up right here and they also pop up right here. So um, this shows you what percent of the total is and I'll fix this so that it actually shows it like a percent. Um, but yeah, that's this project. We'll work on it in class on Wednesday and also on Friday. So you will have plenty of chance to work on this. Um, that this is also our sole project for um, the asynchronous time on both Wednesday and Friday. And we'll see if we need more time on Tuesday as well. So we'll see you soon. Have fun with it.